so many things about St. Pete Clearwater that's special, but we have the most award-winning beaches in the state of Florida. So of course, our 35 miles of beaches is something you can't miss when you come to the destination. But we really are an area that's crowned by um, two really wonderful things. One is the culture in the destination, and one, of course, is the beaches. So that's what makes St. Pete Clearwater so special for visitors coming to our area. Because we have such beautiful weather year round in the destination, there are festivals 365 days a year in our area. Almost every weekend, if it's not an outdoor market, then it's the Jazz Festival or it's the Rib Fest. So there are many, many events, and visitors can always check on our website to see what current events are gonna be going on during their visit. Some things that people don't know probably about St. Pete Clearwater is the culture and the destination. I mentioned that we have both culture and we have the, um, the beach aspect. But when it comes to culture, we've got the Salvador Dali Museum. It's the largest collection of Dali's works outside of Spain. And it anchors a one mile area in downtown St. Pete that has the Museum of Fine Arts, that has the Dale Trujillo glass collection. So really culture and then the dining scene, which has really exploded in the St. Pete Clearwater area is something new um, that I think people will really enjoy when they come. My favorite thing about St. Pete Clearwater is that it's so pet friendly. I have a dog named Mia and she and I go exploring um, whether it's dining in downtown St. Petersburg or going to the beaches in Fort Soto Park or just you know strolling some of the little boutique areas like Dunedin um, which is our Scottish community. Pets are really really welcome in almost every aspect of the destination. So that's my personal favorite.